Hello everybody, I'm Pastor Alfred and today I would like to tell you to celebrate having a job. Let's look at the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 23. I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible. In all labor there is profits, but the talk of the lips leadeth only to penury. Praise the Lord. You see, you must understand the beauty of having a job. You must understand the privilege it is to have a job. And this applies to everybody. When I speak of job, what I mean is something doing with your hands. You know, that will yield financial results. That is what I'm talking about. I'm not just talking about being an employee. This also applies to entrepreneurs. This also applies to investors. Even if you are a stay-at-home investor, you stay at home and you invest in companies in the stock exchange or in whatever investment instruments that are out there or whatever portfolio that are out there, you stay at home and you invest and you get your dividends and you reinvest and you are making a lot of money. This also applies to you. What you are doing is still something that you are doing with your hands or with your intellect, with your mind to yield financial profits. You know, so that is what I'm referring to in this sense of having a job. The thing I really want to touch on among other things is the fact that since certain things we do nowadays do not really fall into the category of job. A lot of people do not do it with all seriousness and the urgency and the way that a traditional job is done that yields most precise results. Let me give for example, let's say you are a writer and you feed yourself and your family off your writing. Perhaps you are even a millionaire from your book sales. A lot of writers are in the position where they write when they are inspired. They write when they feel they have a story or they have something to tell. You see, a lot of things are embedded into their lives because a lot of times they work from home. So as they work from home, a lot of activities go on that are not related to writing and when they make out time to write they make out time to write and all of that however if they were working for a newspaper company in the old days or they took the approach of a job a nine to five let us say that writer set aside nine to five as a minimum per day to write and it doesn't matter whether the writer feels he has an idea or not, because that is one thing about the job. Whether you feel like working or whether you feel like doing that tax or not, you have to do it. Because your boss wants you to do it, and that is the traditional job system. However, when you are independent and you are an auto or so many different, I would say, prof professions and jobs that exist nowadays you can do it from home and you can do it in your own time and you can be self-employed many of these things because of the fact that the person doing it has 100 percent control of the time and choice of how they live they end up negating that benefits and an advantage that's a nine to five has. Now keep in mind that when you are working a nine to five in a traditional job system, you are working for somebody else. You see. But what if you worked with all that seriousness in your own self employment, in your own independence? You see, like that auto, let us say that that auto wrote from nine to five every single day. That was his principle. Or he even extended it to from Instead of 9 to 5, made it like 8 to 6 or 8 to 7, you know, and dedicated that time to writing constantly every day. Imagine how productive that person will be and how much money that person would make. You see, that seriousness is something that is lacking because of the new structure of 
jobs and occupations that have cropped up in today's day and age where there is a lot of independence and self-employment. You see, that is even respectable in society. Most of these things were not seen as respectable in society, but now they are. And it's a good thing. With the boom of the internet, a lot of people work from home and a lot of services and um, products have now changed structure. You know, they have so changed drastically. However, that seriousness, that mindset of somebody who has a job must continue. I gave the example of an investor. If you are an investor, you might be a billionaire. You see, you have a lot of money. You travel, you live your life spending your money and enjoying your money, which is a wonderful thing to do. However, you invest once in a while, you see, and even if you are somebody who uses that strategy that does not demand daily investing, which is good to do, you see, you still must read and you still must have that seriousness because, you see, you have left the seriousness and the drive that brings forth productivity for those who are still doing traditional jobs and are in traditional job spaces because you are investing once in a blue moon, you are dealing with the stock markets once in a while, yet somebody who works at the exchange for a company and is working for another person reports to work from at nine and then leaves at five, you know, and is doing all they can to follow up clients and build the business, build the company and also to look for opportunities and all that. You see, you must carry that same seriousness. The fact that you are a billionaire and you have a lot of freedom doesn't mean that you can relax and sleep, you see, and do like only... 0.0001% of the job that people in your same profession do when they are in a traditional workspace, but doing basically the same profession. You see, you must have that seriousness and that mindset of this is a job. You see, this is something that I am doing. I am to do. This is a responsibility. Even though you have the total control and power of what time to start working, what time to stop working, you can sleep anytime you want, you can wake up anytime you want, unlike a traditional job where you cannot sleep at the job, you have to show up at the time that you have to show up and you have to leave when they tell you to leave, and while you are there, you have to do every single task. Carry that seriousness into your independence business or your independent work structure or your self-employment um, organization you see it's very important that you do that because you see the job the fact that you are doing something productive is something beautiful and the scripture that we read tells us that there is labor in all profits you see you should See that beauty in all in all labor, in all work, in all jobs that leads to profits. And you must understand that what you are getting from that job, what you are getting from whatever you do with your hands, you see, part of it is a seed. You see, so you must sow that seed so that it will yield a harvest. It is not wise to eat the seed and uh, along with the bread, you see, you must sow your seeds with the profits, with a portion of the profits that come from whatever job or thing you do. When you do that, you are using God's principles of finances, you see, and you are also acting in faith and showing that you believe that God is your provider. You have put that job as something that is not your source. You are establishing that the job is not your source, that God is your source, that God is your provider, and that way He will provide. You see, so it is an act of faith also for you to give. 
you see because it's not like if um you won't have other things that you could use the money to do but you are showing your faith and you are demonstrating your faith that you know that god will provide and that is what he will do you must understand that you must be a seed sower you see this is something that is non-negotiable it is of extreme importance eating your seed along with the rest of the fruit is going to be dangerous imagine um for example an orange you see imagine eating the seeds of the orange along with the juice in the orange you see th that is something that is bad for you you see you are not supposed to do that you will end up hurting yourself and that is what you do when you eat your seed you must understand that and the seed works in two ways there is seed for investing in businesses and there is seed to be given to god you see so and you understand that you give to god by giving to those in need and for and by giving towards the cause of the gospel so you see those things are very important you give to the cause of the gospel you give to the needy and on the other hand you put something to invest in, in businesses if what you set aside to invest in businesses is too small then keep it aside to save in a special business only account do not touch the money that is in that account you see no matter what happens no matter what emergency rises do not touch that money that money is saved and to be used only for business purposes you see so that is actually what you should do with all money or yield that comes into your hand from your job or from whatever work that you do so that is it for today make sure you celebrate having a job understand that no matter what that job is whether it is a taxi driver being a plumber no matter how low it is that is all you need that is a wonderful starting point and it can take you anywhere you see so you should be happy that you even have something to do you should be so grateful that you have something that you are doing do not look down on what you do you see and make sure you learn more and ask yourself how can i add more value to the world how can i be more helpful so perhaps from being a taxi driver you find yourself in a position where you as you ask yourself that question and you learn more you end up buying more taxis and employing other taxi drivers or you end up starting your own uber you know after it's just an app all you have to do is learn programming you start your own uber app you do you with your knowledge of marketing you let people know about it you know there are a lot of different things that would happen when you understand the value of a job and you celebrate the job itself you celebrate work itself work is its own reward and work always rewards those who work so that is it for today once again thank you and god bless you remember to go to pastoralfred.com and subscribe when you are there and also check out the family.xyz have a nice day